Hello UCCC families, this is Miss Jessica. Today I'm going to show you how to hopefully make some paint at home with just some simple ingredients that you have around the kitchen. So all we're gonna use is flour, salt, water, and some food coloring to make your colors. So in my bowl, I've got a half a cup of salt. To that, I'm gonna add, oops, not my flour word. I'm gonna add a cup of flour. I've got my half cup measuring here. I'm just gonna get two scoops, so I get a cup of flour. And then I'm gonna give this a quick little stir. Kind of combine it. Here. And then I decided I'm gonna make three colors of paint today, so I've got three cups. So I'm gonna divide this into my three cups here, somewhat evenly. Scoop and put it in this cup. And get a scoop and put it in this cup. And then I'm gonna get a scoop and put it in this cup. Just dump this in here. Not making a huge mess. Doop -do 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 -do. All right. Okay. So I've got my flour and salt here, and then basically I have. A cup of water, so I'm going to divide my cup of water into a third a cup and two other cups so that I can make three colors. So that's about a third of a cup. And then we're going to put a third of a cup in another cup. And then we're going to add our food coloring to this so that we can make our colors. So my girls asked for pink, purple, and blue today. So we'll see how we kind of make these colors. It's an experiment in mixing. So I'm gonna start with blue. I'm just gonna add a couple food coloring drops to this water. And I'm gonna give it a little stir. And then I'm gonna add it to my cup of flour and salt. Probably should use bigger cups. Might wanna use bigger cups if you do this. <clears throat> and then we just gotta mix it and mix it and mix it until there's no clumps and it becomes kind of paint-like. So we're gonna mix, mix, mix here. And keep mixing. That's looking pretty good. Make sure I get all that flour out of the bottom mixed up really good in there. So this is gonna take a couple minutes to just kind of mix it, mix it around. Um, and so then you can make whatever other colors you want. Like I said, I'm gonna try to make some pink. So basically for pink, I'm just gonna use a little bit of red food coloring and it'll be light so it'll kind of look pink. And then for purple, you can mix some blue and some red together to make purple. And then the really fun part about this is you can find whatever household objects you have around to paint with. Like you can use paint brushes obviously, but um, you could use like the back of a pencil and just dip it in your paint and you could just make dots. You can make dot paint. So that's kind of fun. Um, you could use a toilet paper roll, dip it in your paint and make kind of circles around on your paint. You could use other objects like acorns or um, these aren't acorns, these are pine cones. And you could dip these in your paint and kind of roll it around and make some different kinds of paint. Um, so there's lots of different options for what you can do with the paint um, and what you can paint with. So I'm gonna just keep mixing this around. It takes a few minutes to kind of stir it up, but then you're gonna get a nice thick paint. Um, and this stuff, uh, it makes quite a bit. So um, you could actually, um, if you don't use it all, you can store it in the fridge for a while. Just put it in a container, cover it up, and you can store it in the fridge for, it says six months on the recipe I found. So you have paint for a long time if you want. Um, hope you guys have a great day. Enjoy your painting. Bye.